Hey folks, well it appears Jesus Freak made a video responding to some questions from his viewers. So let's see what he had to say. Well, do you think WTC was a demolition? I'm not getting into the 9-11 truther stuff. I don't agree with truther's arguments and such, so I think it's silliness. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, uh, I don't believe in that 9-11 truther stuff either. And, yeah, it is, it's all just silly. I mean, imagine a government of, what, two, three hundred people actually making two buildings, three buildings collapse, and then covering it all up. And, uh, yeah, it's just conspiracy theory. There's there's no conspiracy to it. I mean, imagine two, three hundred people trying to keep a secret quiet. That would never happen. You're right. Given all the information you've been exposed to, um, example, evolution, cosmos, how do you maintain the faith in your religion given all the blatant contradictions and inconsistencies? I don't see those as inconsistencies or contradictions. I see them as lies. Um, I believe God's word stands up to even the greatest of uh, ridicule and um, investigation or uh, whatever. What? Science is all lies? Are you kidding me? Out of, you know, three, three and a half million, eight and a half million scientists in the world, all collaborating together to lie? Are you kidding? You're talking about millions of individual people with hundreds of different backgrounds in their fields, with hundreds of different religious beliefs, and yes, to this date, still about one-third of scientists are religious. So, and all these people get together and go, let's see how we can screw up religion today? And yet, two to three hundred people can't manage to demo demolish a couple of buildings in New York. You won't believe that, but you'll believe that 5.8 million people are 8.5 million people are all conspirating against your religion. Face palm don't even begin to cover it. And so then he went on to say this. God exists outside of the text in the Bible. It's the relationship that I have with God. God communicates to me, not audibly, but emotionally and spiritually. So all the proof and evidence that you have is hearing voices in your head, feeling a warm, tingly, squishy feeling on Sunday. That's all you got? That's all you bring to the table? You better watch some voices in your head. They'll get you one day. See my next video and find out how.